Okay, so for the start of this warm up, two to three sets, depending on whatever time you got. You're gonna have five and five, half kneeling. You can use this body weight too. You do not need to use a weight. Half kneeling windmills. Right arm up, left leg forward, or vice versa. All the way down. Just like that. Once you're done with that, you're gonna go to 30 alternating. You can use your knees if you'd like for this. Shoulder taps into, these are interesting. We don't do these too often, but they're very interesting. They get the heart rate spike quite a bit. Beast leg alternating leg through, I think that's what they're called. But they do take some practice. So if you don't get it the first time and you feel like you look silly, that's okay. This is exactly how I feel every time I do it too. So we're up in this position right here. We're gonna shoot whatever leg forward and you're gonna pull this arm back like you're pulling a bow. You wanna ideally keep that leg elevated. Squeezing the shoulder blades down and back. It's actually a lot of core for that one. Then you'll finish with a bent hollow hold, which is just like that. Shoulders up, trying to get to your knees. And then you'll switch sides. For the first part of this, you're gonna go in a sustained AMRAP. That means slower is probably better than faster on this one. 100 meter run or jumping jacks into 10 tricep push-ups. All that is is your hands are directly down from your shoulders and I'm coming on my elbows just like that. Into bicycle crunches. Think slow, nice and simple. Then you got alternating dumbbell curls. We've all done these before. If you're doing the bodyweight version, you're doing a laying face down snow angel. So what that looks like, elevate up, thumbs touching, and then trying to get your hands touching on your opposite sides. And then you're gonna finish with a uh, hollow rock, dumbbell hollow rock. If you can hold a weight right here, you're gonna hold it, but if you can just do body weight, just do body weight. Remember the biggest thing with that? Punching the lower back into the floor. Once we're done with that, we're gonna go into a little bit of strength hypertrophy work. If you have a barbell, you're gonna go 15 close grip bench press. So remember when we're laying down, driving through the heels, sort of ridging up, slightly in the lower back. My grip, I like to do ring fingers on the inside of the knurling, and I'm coming straight down, keeping the elbows 90 degrees, and punching straight up like that. If you're doing the body weight version, you are just gonna do dips. Dips don't matter. Like it doesn't matter if you do a bench dip, like on the bench. It doesn't matter if you do the matador dips or the rings, just do the dips. Then you're gonna rest, then you're gonna go into eight and eight single arm raises. So you use something to kind of station yourself. Eight on one side, then you do eight on the other. Body weight rows. Now that's exactly the same thing as a ring round, like how we just demoed the other day, but you're using a barbell, it'll be fixed right here. And then you're just doing body weight rows at that point. That will be the sub for that. And then kettlebell horn curls. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can just grab a dumbbell like this. But all that is, by the horns, and we're just curling it, just like that. Rest is needed. Last part is just gonna be 10 to 12 minutes. Sustainable AMRAP again, but you can increase the intensity a little bit if you need to. So it's gonna be either that 100 meter run or 25 jumping jacks into 10 alternating plank toe taps. This is a fun move. Gets a little bit of rotation. So you'll be in a push-up position and then you're reaching back, opposites, just like that. Next move is gonna be a mountain climber. Just do slow contractions when you do them, and then pike leg lifts. If you have, to, if you have weak hip flexors, it's gonna hurt a little bit, but that's exactly what you need if you do. So you're lifting the legs up as high as you can over an object. 